Okay, so this is part four. We're continuing on with our chained hash table. We are going to do our contains method. So we're going to add that in here to the bottom and grab a function template and a scope resolution operator. And off we go. So what we want to do with this one is we want to see if a particular if our hash table contains a value. And if it doesn't contain a value right at the hash, we have to keep going through sideways to see if it's within, because there might be several uh, particular items at that key chained together. Okay, so what we're going to start off first is getting our hash key. Now we've already coded that above, so I'm just going to kind of look and see what I did there. I'm going to take my item and divide that, modulus divide that by the capacity of my list, and that will give us my hash key. Okay, so from there, um, uh, we want to grab our um, a current node. So I'm going to come in here and say auto cur equals, and I'm going to grab my hash table at that position, particular position. That way I can evaluate this particular node and see if that is the one I'm looking for. And if not, then I can go on to the next one and keep going on to the next one until I find what I'm looking for. So, so long as that value exists, uh, I'm going to check it to see if it is equal to the item I'm looking for. If it is equal to the item I'm looking for, I'm going to return true, saying that yes, that this particular hash table has that value. If not, I'm just going to go to the next value by saying cur equals cur next, or I guess we called it link, didn't we, in this particular situation. Cur equals cur link, so it will go to the next one and the next one and the next one, and eventually it will get to either a null pointer or a true situation or the end of our list, and if it makes it all the way out of this loop and does not return a true value, then we will say return false, and that will determine that that item is not in our particular list. And that is it for our contains. Catch us in the next video and we will do a remove method.